So this is 8.3 B is in boy trigonometry, and uh, we just did a problem, example one, on using the product theorem. And I'm going to jump to the homework and do one more because that's the only example they give us. So uh, let's look at hmm, let's look at number nine here, and they give us five cis 90 this would be 90 degrees times 3 cis 45 degrees okay so the way we solve this is we do the r1 r2 cis theta 1 plus theta 2 so we've got 15 r1 times r2 cis 90 plus 45 is 135 degrees. So now let's take this and spread it up as 15 times the cosine of 135 plus I sine of 135 degrees. I keep forgetting to put the degree button on the or thing on there. All right, so now we're going to find the cosine of 135 and the sine of 135. So cosine or 15 times the cosine of 135, second quadrant, all students, it's going to be negative. And it's also going to be a 45 degree angle. And then we're going to do the same with my sine all students which is positive in the second quadrant and the sine of a 45 degree angle is going to be the same as the cosine here alright we get that now we distribute negative 15 square root of 2 over 2 plus 15 square root of 2 over 2 and put the i second there and we cannot reduce this at all. There's nothing we can cancel. So that ends up being our angle and notice, or our answer, and notice it is in rectangular form. It's in the x plus yi form, so we could graph that without any problem. So that again is how you do the product. So let's look at the next section, which is called, let's go back here, quotients of complex numbers in trig form. Now, quotients, um, we're going to use what's called the quotient theorem. So remember, the product theorem is this. And obviously, that's going to be real quick and easy for you to memorize. The quotient theorem looks like this. Okay, so same kind of an idea there. So if we're going to divide complex numbers, we divide the absolute values, we subtract their arguments. In this one here, we multiplied their absolute values and we added their arguments. So let's look at 10 cis negative 60 degrees over 5 cis 150 degrees so this is example 2 and we're going to follow our rule here that we have right there 10 divided by 5 is 2 cis negative 60 minus 150 and I get 2 cis negative 2 10 degrees Okay, I'll put that in parentheses there. All right, then we split them up. Two um, times the cosine whoops, of negative 2, 10, put parentheses, plus I sine of negative 2, 10, 
and we'll put the end bracket there. So I just took the cis and split it up into that. Now um, I need to, let's see if I can move this, yes I can. We're going to take this and take the cosine of negative 210. So when we've got this, we've got the cosine of negative 210, which is going to be over here somewhere because negative. If that's negative 210, then this is going to have to be 360 minus 210 is going to be a 150 degree angle, which makes this one a 30 degree angle. So then I go to and negative square root of 3 over 2 plus i and sine of negative 210 is going to be a 1 half because it's that 30 degree angle again and continuing along we distribute negative 2 square root of 3 over 2 plus 2 over 2 I, so these cancel, so we have negative square root of 3 plus I for an answer. And that's it, we're in rectangular form, we changed it into rectangular form without really even doing anything. Alright, so, um, I don't think I need to do one from the book there, because that's not too bad, but uh, maybe we should. Let's go ahead and look at the exercises of 8.3, and let's do number 17. Okay, so there's number 17 and here's our formula here. So we're going to go ahead and write this as one-third r1 over r2, 3 divided by 9, or just, and then we do our cis, and we're going to take our first angle minus our second angle, and get one-third cis 305 minus 65 is 240 degrees. Okay, so then we expand that out. So one-third, and we're going to write this as cosine of 240 plus I sine of 240. And then we take the cosine of 240 which is in the third quadrant all students take, so it's going to be negative in that quadrant. And sine is also going to be negative. And then that equals negative one six. Okay, and then this times this is going to be negative square root of 3 over 6 i and let's see can I reduce can I do anything I cannot do anything that's it I do not put these two together as negative 1 minus the square root of 3 i all over 6 because I have to keep it in my x plus y i form all right, so that's how you do the division. All right, one more here, and we'll call that um, 8.3C.